Now we have OmniParser from Microsoft. If there is a user task, a restaurant in Johannesburg with vegan option, then you can see it's passing the screen with each individual elements. Then it's taking action by clicking restaurants. Now it's identifying the elements and typing the city name Johannesburg. Then it's clicking the link. And after that, it's choosing vegan option by identifying. And finally, we got the answer task complete. This is using Omni parser model released by Microsoft, which is capable of extracting every element from a screenshot, including its exact position. If you see the performance for Omni parser with GPT 4V, it's comparatively much better than the general GPT 4V version. Even when you compare that with other models with Omni parser, this looks much better in element extraction from a screenshot. In this, we'll be seeing how you can run OmniParser in the code format, in a notebook format, and also in Gradio user interface. Here is the user interface. I'm going to take the screenshot of this page, uploading that here, and then clicking Submit in OmniParser. Here you can see the output. It's able to identify every single element from that screenshot. That includes the exact position. That is super cool. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can run this Omni parser in your computer with GPU and having the ability to run a demo like this, going through Omni parser research paper, the code released in GitHub, and it contains thousands of stars in just a few days and all the models available in Hugging Face. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone github.com slash Microsoft slash Omni parser and then click enter. Now navigate to the Omni parser folder. Now we are inside that folder. Next pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. This installs all the required packages. Next I have a bash script. Using this you are able to download the Omni parser model from Hugging Face. I will put all the code in the description below. So I'm going to run this code. I've saved that in download.sh file. So in your terminal, bash download.sh and then click enter. This will automatically go through individual link and then download the model. Now the model weights got downloaded in appropriate folder and it converted that to best.pt. That's a required file. So everything is taken care of by just running that one script. Next, just type python gradio underscore demo.py and then click enter. This will automatically run the Gradio interface. As a side note, I'm using this configuration with RTX A6000 graphic card and a virtual CPU. And here you can see the Gradio URL is ready for us to view. So I can just open this and here's the user interface. So here I'm uploading a screenshot and then clicking submit. Now it's processing the request. Now it clearly identified the different elements in the screenshot and you have the list of past elements. There are two more things which I want to show you, which is how you can run this Omni parser in the code format and also in notebook. So in regards to code, you have three different steps. First step is to import libraries, second step configuration, and third step to pass an image. So now I'm going to show you how you can code. So step number one, importing libraries. So these are the libraries we are importing. Now step number two, configuration. So I'm going to add few configuration setting the device CUDA and then loading the model. This is where the model got downloaded. You can see that in the folder, weights, I can detect, and here you got the models. And assigning that model to the device, that is the CUDA device. Then we are loading the caption model processor. So here we are using I can detect, that is the YOLO model. And for caption, we are using Florence too. Then we are loading the image from the path. So if I open this image, so this is the image and we are going to pass elements from this image. So that's what's here. We are opening it, converting it, then giving some settings. So I'm keeping all these default. Now final step is parsing that image. So step number three, get labeled image and results. So in the step number three, we are using two different functions: check OCR box and get label image. Using those two function and we are passing all the configuration here whatever we defined at the top. Then using that, we are getting the decoded image and then finally saving it. That's it, only three steps. Importing libraries, configuration, and running the model. 
Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py, and then click enter. This will automatically load the model, run it. It's using exactly the image which we have mentioned before and parsing the result. It's saving that result in a file and printing out the elements detected. So if I open the saved image, so here is the labeled image, labeling every single element from both of these tabs. This is super cool. And also I can see it's very accurate, which means we can extend this further to take action using all these elements and its position. Same as running code, you are able to run that in notebook. So if I open the folder, you got demo.ipynb, that is a notebook, click on that. There you got the complete code. So it's just a matter of clicking run all. It'll automatically run every single box. And here we are providing two different image, Google page and multi-tab windows. It's using the same code which I explained before. And then finally, it's giving you this output. Ability to detect elements in the screenshot. And I'm really excited about this. So when you see the paper, GPT-4V as a general agent is largely underestimated due to the lack of robust screen passing technique. So the current system lacks two different things. One is reliably identifying icons within the user interface. Second, understanding the semantics of various elements. So to solve these two issues, we have OmniParser, which is capable of identifying icons and understanding the semantics of these elements. This is achieved by curating interactable icon detection datasets using popular web pages and an icon description dataset. Then these datasets are used to fine tune specialized models, which is able to identify elements from the screen and caption those elements with semantics. So technically they use two models. One is the fine-tuned version to detect elements. Second one is the caption model to understand the semantics. So here in our code, first we used this model to identify elements. This is the fine-tuned model. Then we used Florence to the caption model to do semantics. Now you are able to easily extend this further to create a full-fledged application, which is like this, where you are able to provide a task and it's able to complete it for you. Considering you like OmniParser, and it uses Florence model. I've already covered Florence model, the captioning model in more detail, which gives you in-depth knowledge on how these images gets processed. And I highly recommend for you to watch that and I will put that link in here. So I will see you there.